You're such a nerd, Double Dragon 912. Yep, and I'm proud to be a nerd. Video games are awesome! Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in this world. I'm DJ Unification, also known as Double Dragon 912. And today, 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 guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I got another top 10 for you guys and girls. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this top 10 is the top 10 JRPGs that I have yet, popular JRPGs that I have yet to play. Y'all gonna look at this list and I'm like, really, Double Dragon? You call yourself a gamer and you haven't played it? Yeah, y'all, there's a lot of... I, back in the day growing up, I was a, uh, I was very limited, you know, in my video game genres. All I really played, me and my brothers, so all we played was, uh, let's see, fine games and, what else was it? Fine games and beat em ups. That was like my main genre. If it wasn't a fine game or a beat em up, nine times out of ten, I didn't play it. You know, I played the Sonics back in the day and some popular action platformers, but I was, you know, I, it ain't like I couldn't play them. You know, I was blessed with my, my folks. They blessed me with a lot of stuff growing up. And uh, I could have played them, but I just never wanted to play them. And so now I just recently got into it. And, you know, my favorite, uh, used to be my favorite uh, RPG of all time was Final Fantasy VII, but there's some RPGs that don't took its place. I never thought in a million years that these that some of these RPGs would take uh, Final Fantasy VII place, but the the, the original, not the, not the not that garbage remake. But uh, y'all want to go see my top 10 popular favorite JRPGs or RPGs of all time. Uh, either I have an iCard going across there or I have it at the end of this video, but... Uh, these are the popular JRPGs that I have yet to play, and I, you know, I thought I'd do a top ten about it. But let's go, legend. Coming in, legend, at number ten on the top ten JRPGs I have yet to play is the Kingdom Hearts series. <laughs> As you can see, I got the, the Kingdom Hearts um, all in one package. Um, I heard the Kingdom Heart. I heard about the Kingdom Heart series back in the day. My sanctuary, my sanctuary. Some of the greatest music of all time. Cause I, I've listened to some of it, but I never got around to really getting into it. I played a little bit of the first one, and I just never got around to getting into them, ladies and gentlemen. I, I had always heard about Kingdom Hearts. I thought, you know, you know, this is Disney little game. This is a little kitty game. I don't need to be playing this. But I've heard great things. I've heard. Um, uh, a lot of people done spoiled it to me over the years. Uh, what was it? I heard you can fight Sethroth on there twice. You can fight Cloud on there. I heard all kind of great things about Kingdom Hearts. And I think they're about to make a part four. I think they're working on a part four, but I don't trust Square Enix no more, man. Square Enix has just been tearing stuff up. They just... They was better, in my opinion, back when it was Square Saw. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I have yet to play the Kingdom Hearts games. And I had picked this up off of... Um, what was it? Uh, Amazon. They won, but is it every it, every Kingdom Hearts game so far they ever made? I think it was like forty dollars or something, but it's worth the purchase. But yeah, that's that's number ten, the Kingdom Hearts series.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, number nine has to be the Trails of Cold Steel series. Yes. Wow. Um, I've always wanted to get into these. Shout out to Eric Landon. He he highly recommends them. Uh, I actually started the first one a little bit. I just never did get back to get around to playing it. But I got all four of the, you know, Trails of Cold Steel, one, two, and three, and four. And, you know, Trails, and I got Reverie. Trails of Cold Steel is still going. To this day <laughs> i'm kind of afraid to play the trails of cold steel series i'm, I'm that's one thing about me ladies and gentlemen. i'll tell y'all this i don't like it when you know i get attached to some the main characters to the story and then all of a sudden they just kill them off and next thing you know you can't play with them don't get me attached to no characters like that and then kill them off i can't stand when a writer does that that really pisses me off i ain't gonna lie to you i get i get i get i get, I get, I get big mad off that Games like that I can't stand, but uh, I'm afraid that when I play Trails of Cold Steel, these characters that I'm playing with now, that I'm probably going to get attached to, that they're going to get killed off. I'm not for sure because I never played the games, but I am going to go through them and play them because I really want to play the Trails of Cold Steel series. I heard this is um, turn-based at its finest, and this is a great series to have. Falcom. No, it ain't Falcom. Is it, is it Falcom? Exceed. That's all I know, Exceed. I think Falcon might have helped. Yeah, there go Falcon. But yeah, I definitely want to finish playing this series. At least beat the first four that I got. So I can say, you know, that I beat the Trails of Cold Steel series. I know it's still going. If it's still going, I'm afraid what's going to happen. But yeah, the company in Lazy at number nine has to be the Trails of Cold Steel series. going to let us past, are they? Swarm of beasts. So we'll just have to take him down. Go! I've got you! It's my turn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number eight has to be the Dragon Quest games. Wow, I have yet to play a Dragon Quest game. Now, I've been had this one in my possession a long time. I picked it up at Walmart for, shoot, I think this game was like 20 or $10. It was on clearance. That's back when you get them good clearance deals. But yeah, I heard Dragon Quest eight is great. And I also heard that, uh, this Dragon Quest is great. I opened this up actually to uh, pop it in and try to play it, but I never did get around to finish playing it. And I heard the Dragon Quest games are very, very off the chain. If you're a turn-based fan, I heard you really need to get into Dragon Quest games. I heard they were so popular. Dragon Quest they were so popular that people just in Japan just take off and call in to work and tell them that they ain't going to be there because they'd be at home playing Dragon Quest. That's how popular this, this series is. And uh, I'm afraid... Uh, Dragon Quest, what is it? The new one? I mean, this is 11. The new one they're trying to make, Dragon Quest 12, is going to be, uh, they say he's going to make it dark. 
and he gonna go away from everything that what made Dragon Quest is, is you know itself. So they gonna make it. The, the rumor is they gonna make it action based and they gonna be real dark. <sighs> How many times I got to say this? Y'all know my model. It ain't just my model. This this saying been out there for a while. I just adapted it into my model. If it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Add to it. Now, you know the last Dragon Quest they made? It, I remember when I was looking up the sale numbers. It probably ain't more than that now. It had sold like 4.5 million in how many? I think it was a... Not, that wasn't even a, in a month. It might have been a, in a couple of weeks. It sold 4.5 million. And that's a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. That keeps... turn. See, I'm a turn-based fan. I love turn-based. That's my favorite. I ain't got no problem with action base. Don't get me wrong, but I love turn base. And games like this will keep turn base alive. Then shout out to Atlas, uh, who's still keeping turn base alive with the Persona games. Persona game. Then I need to play that Metaphor Refantasio game. I didn't get it at first, but I keep hearing good things on, on top of good things about it. So I'll probably wait for a sale and get that one. But um, yeah, if you're a turn base fan. This is your game to get, ladies and gentlemen. Dragon Quest. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm late on Dragon Quest. I ain't gonna sit up here and talk about Dragon Quest because y'all. I know a lot of y'all out there done played it, and I want to sit down and play it one day. But yeah, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number eight has to be the Dragon Quest games. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number seven has to be the Breath of Fire series. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Breath of Fire, uh, unfortunately, I ain't got a physical copy of Breath of Fire right now, but I do have Breath of Fire. I bought Breath of Fire 4 on, uh, what was it, PlayStation, PlayStation 3, you know, the PlayStation 3 on the... Uh, PlayStation 3 Network, you know, I got that, I got me a digital copy of that, but the rest of them, I probably, probably can find them on emulators, but I did start playing uh, the original Breath of Fire, which was amazing, I loved it, I got into it, it's turn-based at its finest, and it, was, it had a great story to it, last time I stopped playing it, because uh, I had it on on my, my old laptop, my old laptop went out on me, I had to get, upgrade to a new one, 
uh, that was where all my save data was. Uh, where was I? I had stopped on this stage. Tell me in the comments says my Breath of Fire fans. Uh, I had stopped on, um, what was it, what was it, what was it? On a stage, I'm trying to remember. Underwater stage. It was underwater and I was trying to find uh, one of my party members down there. I remember some type of way I figured out how to breathe on the water with my whole party. But it's a great game, ladies. I love the Breath of Fire games. At least the first one. I want to get into the rest of them. That's a series I have yet to get into. And I know it's a popular JRPG, but I have yet to get into I got got into it, the first one, but I really want to get into it, play the first one, the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. I want to play all four of those. I heard all four of those games are amazing, but after that, they just went downhill. <laughs> Dragon Court, I heard that was trash, and I heard the Breath of Fire series just went out downhill. Hopefully, since Capcom is reviving um, all these old JRPGs, you know, not all JRPGs, but old series like they did Marvel's Capcom, who knows? Maybe we'll get another Breath of Fire. They'll revive it and make a collection of it. I would love that, man. I'd buy that day one. That'd be a modern day collection I would love to get. You know, they bring back Sewer Coding series, which I have yet to play. That's another honorable mission. I have yet to play the Sewer Coding series. I have some of them, but I have yet to play them. But uh, they really need to make a, re uh, a remastered collection of the Breath of Fire games. Capcom, y'all get on that. <laughs> Yeah, but coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number, uh, what is it, seven? Yeah, seven. Has to be the Breath of Fire games. ここからはじめ。カプコンオリジナルRPGブレスオブファイヤー。どうか私に力をください。スーパーファイコンユー Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number six has to be the Legend of the Dragoon game. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've heard nothing but good things on top of good things about this this game, this legendary game. And this game, actually, because I had bought it on, uh, get my disc straight in there. I had bought it on the PS1, I mean, PS3 store. I was able to automatically upgrade it when I got me a PS4. It upgraded automatically to the PS4 version. Then I upgraded again to the PS5 version. Sony did that free of charge. And I heard great things about this game. I heard it was amazing. And, uh, you know, like I told you, I like a lot of turn-based games. This game, uh, shout out to my homie, uh, Heavy. He gave it to me. He hooked me up with the, the PS1 version. So, I, you know, I got me a physical version. It's a crying shame that they have not, Sony hadn't really remastered this game. They did. Like on PS4, I'm talking about like a, they need to do a physical release of this. You know, do Legend of Dragoon remaster and, you know, do a physical release of it. But they did remaster it on uh, the PS4. And you got a PS4, you got a PS5, you can actually sit down and play this game. And I heard it was a great game, turn-based at its finest. And I really want to play Legend of Dragoon. I ain't even started on Legend of Dragoon. I got the game, but I just haven't played it. <laughs> these games, these are the JRPGs I just really haven't got around to. But, you know, like I said, this is my top 10. Y'all leave y'all top 10 popular JRPGs down there. Y'all have yet to play. You've heard great things about, but I have yet to play. But, yeah, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number six has to be The Legend of Dragoon. Welcome to 
Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number five has to be Tales of Zillia 2. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Tales of Zillia games, uh, part two, I heard you got to play part one, then, you know, play part two to actually, you know, see what's going on with the story. But uh, this has to come in at number five, ladies and gentlemen, because I got, as you can see, I got the game. I just have never broken the seal on it and never played it yet. I really want to play it. These are uh, Tales, the Tales of games. Uh, I heard it was amazing. And I heard the Zillia games are real good, ladies and gentlemen. And it, this one actually has a sequel. So uh, I definitely want to sit down and play this one. Don't know much about it, but I just heard the Tales of Zillia games are amazing. And this is the second one. So this is coming in at number five, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tales of Zillia 2. Lying on the side of the tracks, the hospitals were overflowing with injuries. Full as they were, I had little choice but to carry you here for treatment. Authorities identified the alleged mastermind behind the attack. An employee of Spirius Corporation, one Julius Kresnik. Luger Kresnik, huh? You wouldn't happen to be related to Julius Kresnik, would you? What will you do now? Head to Cayman! Why do you want to go to Cayman? It's a place full of magic, and it can grant any wish that you make. 
It's a place spoken of in fairy tales and ancient spirit legends. You gotta promise me we're going to the land of Canaan together. If she's important, then see her through this. Even if it means your life. I can't drag you all into this. Not until you tell us what's going on, Julius. You and I are definitely brothers. And yet... The trial is cruel. Unbearably cruel. And people are weak. Isn't there another way, Julius? Do not hesitate. Act or lose what you love. Stop! Please, just stop! It won't grant power unless you want it! Do you have what it takes? What did you do to Elle? You will come to understand. This is our curse! You alone must make the decision, brother. I wonder. Perhaps humans are at their best when they have someone to protect. I have to go after L. Everything rides upon this one choice. Not just your life but the fate of the entire world. Can you handle it? Destruction? Decision? Please, just make it stop! Protect that girl to the end, no matter the cost! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number four has to be Tales of Zillia 1. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this game I actually started playing on my PS3, but uh, unfortunately, it was on a, one of my old PS3 Slims, and it went out on me. So, all my save data that was on there, I lost. And so, I have yet to sit down and try to play through it again. I don't even know if I'm going to try to, but I want to because... I had fun playing it. I was playing it for a while. Uh, Cause you switch between, you either do it with this guy or the the hot chick on there. And uh, I think that you have two separate storylines. I think they they bought probably about the same. But uh, I was playing it for a while and I was getting into it and I was enjoying the combat system and it's you know it's action. You know it's basically tap 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 like a fighting game basically. And it was a pretty, pretty cool system, and I enjoyed it, ladies. And I was enjoying it real good, but like I said, uh, unfortunately, with the these new generation of consoles, when a hard drive or a system go out on you, USOL, unless you don't save it to the cloud, uh, the PlayStation, uh, you got to have PlayStation Plus to do it. Unless you don't save it to the cloud, you USOL. So I eventually want to get back into the Tales of Zillia game. I really do, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Cause I heard this one was real good. Cause see, yeah, like I said, I opened this one up and I actually started playing it. Let me show y'all what's all in it. I got this at uh, I think I got this at Walmart. I remember. Yeah, this is all the stuff that comes in it. See, it come with a soundtrack. It come with a booklet. See. Dreams and wishes are fulfilled. The spirits have the power to bring man's wishes to fruition, and in turn, those wishes preserve and protect the spirit's livelihood. She claims she's Maxwell. She's supposed to be the spirit Maxwell? You gotta be kidding me. What in the world would a spirit like that be trying to destroy? When someone uses a Spyrix, spirits die. I know he must be stopped. I know I must help stop him. When a man loses his way in life, the ground beneath him starts to slowly crumble. Until there is nothing left. Attack! 
I can no longer obey the king. He uses his own people as pawns. What are we waiting for? We have to save those citizens. <laughs> Your metal is inspiring. All right then, hold on tight. No one in this world is more worthy to sit upon this throne than I. Spirits protecting humans. Now that is quite an interesting tale. Humans strive to become stronger. They constantly struggle to grow more for the sake of others. They rise to the occasion. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the last three. Thank you guys and girls for once again for sticking with me for so long. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, at number three has to be this one, Tales of Bisseria. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I really wanted to play this game. As you can see, it's in the plastic. What, the reason why I really didn't get around to playing this one, because uh, a YouTuber, I'm not going to say his or her name, but they spoil the whole ending for me. YouTubers, let me know, let me tell you this: If you're gonna play, talk about a JRPG, please, please say spoiler alert before you spoil any other story. They spoiled it so bad that I'm not even want to play it because I already know what's gonna happen at the end, and I ain't finna waste my time and get depressed over no reason. So that's why I haven't played this game, and probably would never play it unless I eventually just forget about what the YouTuber said. And I got a great memory, so that probably, <laughs> I probably never play this. Let me just tell y'all this, uh, Persona 3, uh, that what really got me into the Persona games. And I remember a YouTuber spoiled it, and uh, I, I eventually, when I got around to playing it, Persona 3, uh, I had forgot completely about what the YouTuber had said. And, you know, I didn't remember it until after I had beat the game. Like, oh, yeah, that's right, YouTube had spoiled that to me. I had forgot about it, but this one still fresh on my brain so I don't know if I ever play this one because I heard what that YouTuber said really spoiled the whole game for me and that's all I'm gonna say but yeah coming in ladies and gentlemen at number three I heard it was a great game because I saw like a demo of it saw somebody playing it I heard it was a great game and I like the, the combat to it the little trailer if I can pull up a trailer for you guys while I'm talking I probably will but yeah I heard this game was great and I probably never play it because YouTube will spoil it for me YouTube stop spoiling RPGs and just games in general. Just say spoiler alert before you spoil anything, okay? Yeah. Come in, ladies and gentlemen. Number three has to be Tales of Berseria. I will put an end to all the pain in this world. Tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. You saved my life. Now it's my turn to save you. We will beat him if we must, no matter what it takes.
ties that bind us must at last be severed. I will have my revenge. You won't. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number two has to be Chrono Cross. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, number, Chrono Cross, I heard it was a great game. I heard uh, great things about it. Shout out to Eric Landon. That's still his his uh, favorite uh, JRPG of all time. But Chrono Cross, ladies and gentlemen, I heard it was a great game. And some type of way they tried to link it to uh, Chrono Trigger. And this is a game I have yet to play. I got the PS4 version of this, too. Um, but shout out to my homie Heavy. He hooked me up with the PS1 copy. Y'all know I'm all about that physical version. But I think they made a physical of the new one. But it's only on the physical version is only on Nintendo Switch. I don't know, you know, Nintendo Switch probably got some type of exclusivity with that. But I need to get that, you know, a newer version of this. But yeah, heard it was a great game. Heard it got all type of time travel going on, and because overall it's a great game. And they apparently it's real great because they remastered it. <laughs> And I want to really get into it, ladies and gentlemen. I heard, like I said, I heard great things about it. It's just one of those JRPGs that sometimes you hear about, but you never get around to. That's what this whole list is about, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, I really want to sit down and play Chrono Cross. And um, that's why I made number two on this list, ladies and gentlemen. This one I really want to get, get into. One of these days, I'm just going to sit down and play all my old school JRPGs. Heard it was a great game. So, yeah. That's why it makes number two on this list. Coming in, ladies and gentlemen, number two has to be Chrono Cross. Moving right along. Moving right along.
プレイステーション All right, ladies and gentlemen. Before I get to number one, there's another honorable mention I have to mention that I have yet to play. Very popular JRPG that I have yet to play. Heard great things about it. Another honorable mention has to be Final Fantasy IX. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, y'all wonder about the bow. This back. Shout out to um, who is that? Cameron and his wife. Hope they still married. It's been a while since I seen them guys. I was, a, you know, they knew I was a gamer, and what they did. Uh, his wife is very nice. Uh, him and him and his wife, I appreciate them for that. They hooked me up with uh, Final Fantasy IX. That's why they gave me the bow. And I have yet to play it. Basically, it's brand new because they played it and they did, did, really didn't want it. See, I was basically brand new. And I got this game on uh, PS4 too because they did a digital download, you know, remastered. But I have yet to play this game, ladies and gentlemen. I started playing a little bit of it. But, um,. I really want to get into it. Uh, shout shout to my homie John. He said that this game was his favorite uh, RPG of all time. A couple of people I know said that they this was their favorite RPG of all time. And you know, I want to play it because I heard it was a great game, and I heard they talking about remaking this one. I hopefully they won't remake it because they're gonna tear it up like they did Final Fantasy Garbage Remake. But I really want to play Final Fantasy IX. So that's an honorable mention in that. But the num now, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to number one. And my number one JRPG game, that popular JRPG game that I missed and need to play of all time is... Chrono Trigger. Wow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Chrono Trigger, I at least have popped it in by my PS3. You know, PS3 is backwards compatible. And played some of this game. And I really want to play more of it you know I want to play uh play Chrono Trigger I heard that it has multiple endings I heard this is one of shout out to the late great uh Kira Toriyama he helped make this game and I heard Chrono Trigger is amazing because if you look at it and they look at the cutscenes I used to hear about the cutscenes back in the day that Chrono looked just like Goku <laughs> and you got all different type of characters in it and you know there's a lot of time travel going along like ladies and gentlemen I really want to play this because there's so many different endings they said it got multiple endings in it and you can beat this game real quick like shout out to my homie David he said it won't take too long for you to beat it he said you can go through it and beat it and have multiple endings so I really want to sit down and play this one Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy 6 I want to play that one too I heard that was a great game too that's no arm I'm missing but Chrono Trigger is one I really want to play um I think, I think I got this on the PS3 too. I downloaded it. Yeah, I think I got it on the PS3 too as a digital download. But you know, I'm all about that physical life. And I don't think they ever uh, remastered this game. I think it might be on PC. But yeah, this is a game I really, really want to play, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, yeah, that about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen, for my top ten JRP popular JRPG I have yet to play. Leave comments below, ladies and gentlemen, your top 10 popular JRPGs you have yet to play. I would really like to know down there in the comment section. Because uh, give me some suggestions. Any more out there I haven't played, let me know. I'll play them. And preferably turn-based, but if you got a good action-based one, I'll play it too. I don't discriminate. Because y'all saw in the countdown, I talked about Zit Tales of Zillia. Because I, I like them, them, them type of games. I got no problem with them. Just prefer turn-based. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps it up, ladies and gentlemen, for this rendition of my top 10 JRPGs I have yet to play. Like I said, leave comments below, ladies and gentlemen, of your favorite top 10 JRPGs y'all have yet to play. I would really like to know. Uh, remember, ladies and gentlemen, life may throw stuff at you sometime, but regardless, you got to keep on, keep it on. Always put God first and you'll never go wrong. Um, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos like this on the way. Double Dragon 912 signing out. Peace out.